All right, guys. The plan here is to show you guys the parts of a magnetic compass binnacle. Uh, this binnacle is normally located on the ship's Monkey Island and covered by a dark cloth. Uh, sometimes I hope you get the opportunity to take it off and see the different parts. But for today, uh, let me show you the different parts here. So what we have here is the compass bowl, which is on a gimbal arrangement. This gimbal arrangement allows the compass binnacle to move along with the ship's movement at sea and still uh, allow us to take steady bearings of objects. Inside the compass bowl that you see is the compass card. The compass card is resting on the float uh, arrangement, the float and the jewel cap and the pivot arrangement. Under the uh, float, uh, the jewel cap and the pivot arrangement is there. Uh, then we have the compass binnacle itself, of course. Uh, the compass binnacle has a registration number, a patent number along with the maker's details. It also has a light switch here, dimmer switch here that allows us to take bearings uh, at night. Uh, then we have the compass correctors. So we have the red and the green ball here which are the quadrantal correctors also known as Kelvin's balls. And the thing that you have to note here is that these can be moved on a groove. This is a groove here and the balls can be moved on a groove so depending on how much of the compass you need to adjust it the closer you move it to the uh, compass bowl here then uh, the more will be the impact of course these are soft iron spheres the impact is not very significant but still you can see that they are allowed to move on a groove here and you can take them closer or move them further apart on the groove uh, then you also have the here in the bracket here you can actually there's a there's a covering here normally but the covering is uh, now not there but what is inside the covering may be very dark for you right now but let me take it out and show you what is there here so what you see here is the healing error bucket so there is a bucket and chain arrangement here and I'll show you what I mean here very soon. so you see here that so there is a bucket and chain arrangement here this is the healing error bucket this is used to correct the healing error of the magnetic compass and what you see is the the what you call is the bucket here you can they see there are some holes in this bucket and in these holes you can put the compass needle now normally you start with the hole in the center and then you put uh, the other correctors diagonally opposite to each other now of course depending on whether you want to correct the red element or the blue element that is the element that goes into the bucket and the other element sticks out all right so you can see that there are about seven holes here and normally the center one goes in first and then uh, you fill or rather you put them diagonally opposite to each other and this is used to correct the healing error magnetism of the magnetic compass so this goes into a, a hole there's a bucket and chain arrangement here you can see that's a bucket and this is the chain that i'm talking about uh, the next we have are the longitudinal and the thought ship correctors so you can see that magnetic needles here uh, can be put in the thought ship or in the longitudinal positions either or and uh, what you see here is there are a number of holes here and they are numbered actually they are numbered in this one it's numbered from 1 to 10 1 at the bottom and 10 all the way going to the top now what you have to remember here or what you have to note here is the further below you put this needle in the hole the less is the impact if you want uh, more adjustment or more correction the higher you put up the more will be the impact on the uh, compass adjustment all right of course depends also on the thickness of the needle these needles are pretty thick but depends on the thickness of the needle as well how thin they are and uh, what is the strength of each of these but these are the athwart ship and longitudinal characters so fore and aft and port and starboard uh, athwart ship characters all right apart from that uh, you also have uh, the flinders bar so what you see here is the flinders bar now the flinders bar if i take it off gently I can show you that the Flinders bar comprises of, you can see magnets of uh, differing lengths. Alright, now it's going to fall for sure once I take it out but uh, still I want to show you here that these are bars, these are bars, iron bars of differing lengths. These are actually correctors of the Flinders bar. So you can have them designed in different lengths and shapes and sizes and depending on how much adjustment you have to do, you can put them accordingly. Some of it you can even leave empty. You don't have to fill up the whole bar here. You don't have to fill up the whole bar. You can leave some of it empty. But as you can see, these are bars of differing lengths. This is one bar. And then there's another bar here. 
and uh, sometimes if you don't need to use all the bars you can use pieces of wood like this and fill it up because wood will have no impact on the magnetic compass so you don't have to fill up the bar every time but you can do that uh, if the compass requires it to be done all right other things that i want to show you here is that uh, the compass bowl has a liquid arrangement now most of the compasses these days are wet card compasses which means it has a liquid or alcohol to water mixture uh, so alcohol to water in the ratio of 2 is to 1 mixture is put inside uh, you can use a syringe like this to put in the mixture into the compass bowl you have to make sure there are no bubbles here now of course on the sides of the compass uh, there are arrangements provided that you can use to fill in the bowl but make sure there are no bubbles in there all right uh, i don't think there are any other characters left for me to show and this is pretty much the parts of the magnetic compass so in case i didn't show you so you can see here is the longitudinal and athwart ship so port and starboard and there's another one here so if you are if i'm saying port and starboard there has to be a port and starboard side so there are two sets of these arrangements so longitudinal characters and athwart ship characters here longitudinal athwart ship characters here as well so one is longitudinal and the other one is port and starboard athwart ship characters so two sets of these and uh, i think that's pretty much it uh, let me know if i miss something uh, and uh, i've tried to do something different here today to show you the parts of the compass i have previously shown these parts of the compass in form of pictures which i thought worked better but i thought today i will show you a live recording of the compass as well for those of you who have never seen one or never been on a ship or who are at a pre-sea level so let me know what you thought about this video bye guys